Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for February 6th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this may resonate now or in a couple days or whatever. Um, February 6th, what am I picking up on? What do I need to convey? This is for whoever it resonates for. It may or may not resonate with you. We'll see what happens. It looks to me like somebody is tiptoeing. They're tiptoeing. They're on their tiptoes. Getting prepared. Somebody is getting prepared to come out of darkness, come out of hiding, perhaps. Maybe you've been waiting for this. Maybe you've been waiting for somebody to see the light. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's coming. I think, you know, there's been a time of suspension. There's been a time of limbo. Somebody was insecure. And perhaps now they're tiptoeing in your direction and it's something you've been waiting for. Somebody that's kind of been going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment. It's like it's the it's like somebody is definitely coming out of a period of darkness. Could be you. It could be you coming out of this period of darkness. You've gone through some sort of enlightenment. And your time in suspension, your time in limbo is just about over because something could be arriving. You've been waiting for this arrival and all of a sudden it's here. Whoever this, somebody, I think that we have, I mean, this guy looks like he's been thinking. Somebody's been thinking about making an appearance. There's been a lot of pain. This is a three of swords. There's been a lot of sorrow. There's been a lot of tears. I feel like we have a person here that has been really hurt and perhaps they are finally accepting the pain and taking their power back. No longer going to let this other person hold them back. I'm not going to let this person hold me back anymore. That's what I see. It feels to me like we have a masculine here that is deciding to stop holding on to the wrong one. And I don't feel, I don't feel like this, I have to, I have to be honest with you. I feel like this is somebody new. Right off the bat, when I started reading this card, I said, this is not the ex. It's not. I think this is another person that has been deeply hurt. They had to go through some sort of spiritual healing before they could be ready for a new relationship. But, you know, he's got the Ace of Swords in his hands. It's like, I think I'm ready to communicate with somebody else. Two of Swords, it's, it's take that mask off, come out of denial about this person that hurt them. So I really feel like somebody is now ready to stop holding on to the pain and take their power back. I mean, this could be for the female or the male, but somebody is, is like, I'm taking my power back. 
even though it hurts. I'm no longer going to hold on. I'm no longer going to sacrifice myself and be a victim to the circumstance. Somebody has been a victim to the circumstance, you know, and, and allowed themselves to stay out in the cold for too long. When they could have just... let go a long time ago. I think somebody hung on to their painful end for too long. And now it's like, no, I'm not. I release. Coming out of this darkness, I'm coming out of the cold. Somebody has received the spiritual awakening that they needed to see things more clearly, to see the truth. And now it's like, I think that now there, there, something is arriving that they have been praying for. There's that two of swords we were talking about. You know, it's like seeing the truth after being in denial for so long. Somebody had to make a painful, painful decision to take that mask off and accept the truth. Okay, the painful truth. Somebody was in denial and just blocked the truth for too long because it was so painful. And during this time of blocking the truth of the pain that they were dealing with, you know, they were destructing on the inside. But I feel like now somebody is getting ready to, or they have decided to not block these emotions anymore, not block these feelings, not block the truth. The truth is, this hurts. The truth is, I can't stay here anymore. The truth is, I'm not going to let this circumstance <clears throat> stop me from communicating and stop me from moving forward. The truth is, is I can't pretend anymore. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. Somebody's period of darkness and despair is just about over. It is. It is. And it's because they're deciding. It's like somebody is making the decision, the choice to stop blocking the truth. She's looking at the pain now. You know, the, the mask is coming off and she's looking at the hurt. Yes, this hurts. Somebody's about to face their fears about relationships face their fears about opening up, face their fears about letting somebody in again, because I think that we have a new arrival here. Somebody is arriving that is giving somebody an opportunity to open up, to heal, to let go of the past hurts. I feel like we have some, this is somebody that, I feel like it's somebody that has been watching and this person was going through some sort of healing as well. 
Okay, we have, I think both people have been through something very traumatic. Okay, it is, it is, it is traumatic. And it's time for happiness. It's time for commitment. It's time to, to celebrate. It's time to have fun. I think we have some here, somebody here that is committed to coming out of this darkness. They're committed to coming out of this victim mentality. I'm not going to stay here anymore. All I want is happiness. I want contentment. I want commitment. I want my perfect match. And I'm not going to be stuck here anymore. I'm not. No longer stuck. And it may be a little scary to take this risk. It may be a little scary to step over this edge. But it's like, I knew this was coming. I knew that it's time. I knew that sooner or later I was going to have to release this pain and stop blocking everybody from coming into my life. It's funny. I just said take a risk, right? Somebody's going to have to take a risk. This is risky. Yeah, it is. It's risky to unblock your heart. It's risky to let somebody in. Especially when there's fear of being taken advantage of. When there's a loss of faith and there's a loss of hope because somebody left you out in the cold in the past. You know, somebody really burned you. It's scary. There's fear. There's fear of starting over. But it's like, you know, I'm going to take baby steps. I'm going to take baby steps and move in a new direction. So I think that somebody is tiptoeing in a new direction towards something they have been praying for, okay? Whatever this is, it's like I'm going to make myself happy. On the bottom of the deck, we have the three of coins, okay? Three, three, three. Threes are the answers to your prayers. Your prayers have been heard. You may be receiving some sort of communication from somebody that wants to help you, or they want to show you something, or they want to work with you, or maybe they want to be together with you. I don't know. This is togetherness. This is working together. After, after I think both people in this reading have been through a very painful situation. Anyway, it looks to me like somebody is letting go or preparing to let go of a deceptive, tricky situation that has really kept them stuck for some time, has kept them in fear. I mean, we have some fear here. The fear of taking a risk with anybody else. But it looks to me like somebody's about to take their power back and take that risk, even if it, they, they're doing it very... You know, one step at a time, one small step at a time. I feel like somebody has received the clarity that they need, that it's time to take my power back. It's time to accept this pain. It's time to, you know, uh, let the healing really, really commence. It's, it's time to... Um, I'm rubbing my chest. It's time to be honest with myself. I was taken advantage of. I was lied to. I was taken advantage of. I was lied to. I know that I am worth more than this. 
I know that I deserve love. I know that I cannot block the truth forever. I know. I realize that this is part of the script. It's all part of the plan. And it's time for me to take my power back and open my eyes again. Somebody has blocked their emotions for too long because of a painful ending. And it's like, now I know. Now I know that it's time to get on board with a new beginning. And I feel like somebody is finding happiness with themselves after a long time of suffering, okay? Not gonna let this circumstance keep me stuck anymore. And I think because somebody decides to Take that mask off. Something is arriving. Something is arriving. You know how the universe works in mysterious ways. Um, I mean, that three of wands is, is, is probably a sudden arrival. I mean, something is arriving. All of a sudden, it's here. And that could just be acceptance. and praying something you have been hoping and praying for is arriving and it, and it could just be well let's see what it is oh not gonna swear it was a close one though somebody's getting it waking up some something is happening and I think it's something that you knew was going to happen okay you knew something was going to happen that was going to change everything. And something is going to happen that is going to change everything. And you knew. I think you may have felt or just had this inner knowing felt same thing that something was going to change for the better. Even though it was going to hurt. You have to deal with the hurt. Okay. The tower is a rude awakening. It's a breakthrough. It is a breakthrough. It's a crash of a foundation of a structure that wasn't stable. So that something better can come in. So I, I see that we have a crash, okay? It's like all of a sudden the, the lightning strikes and somebody is wide awake, wide awake. There's, there's definitely, a breakdown coming, okay? There's something that is, that is falling apart, that is coming to an end. Because it's time for you to go down a new path. You can't deceive yourself anymore. You can't lie to yourself anymore. I think you knew this end was coming. And I feel like somebody, you know, is now accepting it. day acceptance this is acceptance it really is this is releasing the past to live again that's what this is forgiveness even though it hurts I feel as though somebody is accepting the truth, 
releasing and deciding to live again. It's like somebody has absolutely had some sort of awakening here. This is a rude awakening. This is an awakening. Somebody has had an awakening that... It's time. It's time to take the power back. He's got the Ace of Swords in his hand. It's time to stop blocking my emotions. This is blocked emotions, both of these. It's time to stop blocking my emotions. It's time to wake up. It's time to see the truth. And the truth is being accepted. Somebody is going to receive some sort of upheaval or they have received some sort of upheaval, some sort of breakthrough, some sort of bomb goes off that makes them realize the truth of a situation. It's like, boom! So, you know, I really feel as though somebody is definitely, definitely getting a wake-up call and it may, you know force them to take their power back, you know? Maybe, maybe, you know, somebody from the other side has gave them a visit. Three of Cups reversed. Now we have, it's def, oh, this is a five of cups, why did I say, oh, because I saw the three down here, five of, it's like coming out again, it's realizing that there's an opportunity for love, there's another opportunity for love, I don't need to hang on to this pain anymore, no longer going to cry over this loss, I've got love right around the corner, it's realizing that there is love right around the corner. So I feel like somebody is abruptly waking up. And preparing for new love. And I think what's happened is, is it's here. I think we have a, a love that is here. It's here. It's like it is. You know, I feel like somebody has withdrawn, somebody has not acted with with good intentions. The, we, we were dealing with somebody that, like I, I said, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I said it, but I was thinking it, couldn't love. Didn't have the capacity to love. Emotionally shut down. Unable to take risks, unable to, you know, replace fear with faith. And it's like, maybe now this person is deciding that it's time for a change. I don't know. I'm not sure who this person is. This represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have Scorpio here quite a bit. We have Pisces here a couple times. We have Aries. We have Gemini. It looks to me like we have somebody that has been very manipulative and very deceptive. That has kept somebody stuck. They left somebody out in the cold caused them a lot of pain and it's like now it's time to release 
It's time to release. It's time to forgive, accept. And not allow this person to steal your power anymore. This person was so cunning. They were so charming that it was really hard to get over. They really made a person feel happy. They had, they had all the tools to do it. They were a master, right? But it's like now, now I see, I see the situation clearly. It's a high priestess. I see, I see. I see that it's time for me to take my power back. Forgive this situation. Allow it to break down and crash and crumble. Because I have a better opportunity. I realize that I can't hold on to this pain anymore. I think we have a sudden arrival of somebody that is brought to you from above. I really do. <clears throat> it's something you've been waiting for. It's going to make you happy. It's time. It's time. You see, he's digging him up. It's time. It's time to get your reward. So I really feel like there is something that is happening because it's time. <laughs> it is. It's time for you to be happy again. It's time to, for you to let go of this a sad situation that you have hung on to for so long, okay? It is. I think the universe is helping. I mean, this is a universe card. The, the universe is helping somebody to see the falseness. Because this is a false foundation. They're, they're helping somebody to see the falseness of a partnership. Somebody is, is deciding it's time to live again. And I feel like they've shut themselves off for too long. And now it's time. Now it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to get what you have been waiting for. So I feel because somebody has decided to accept change, even though it hurts, it's like they're bringing you a new opportunity. They are. We have a new opportunity here for love. We do. For emotional fulfillment. I think it's pretty unexpected. I think it's unexpected. I think that you have been waiting for it, yes. But, you know, you never know when you're going to get it. And this may be definitely not what you expect. You may have this vision in your head of who this is. I don't think that's it. I don't. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is finding the strength and the confidence and the courage and the willpower to bring balance and harmony back to their lives. It's like I'm taking control. We have a, a, a masculine, I believe, that is about to take control. It's like this person knows it's time. It's time. It's time for me to release this pain, this heartache. So I feel like we have a masculine that is, is heading in a new direction. <clears throat> and it's away from somebody that 
couldn't love them <laughs> and they're headed towards somebody else and this other person that they are headed to is probably blocking their own emotions okay I there's definitely blocking here this person is is blocking their own heart so we I think we have a masculine that is deciding to take back their power and head in a new direction It's like they're digging up these, realizing that they're going to die. It's like, okay, it's time for me to pick. It's time for me to pick. But they know they're going to die. But I'm going to pick them anyway. So it's like somebody is looking for instant gratification or something like that. Or maybe that's where they were in the past. Instant gratification. With the magician reversed. Maybe that's where they were in the past. And now they realize, because this is realizing, they get this rude awakening that instant gratification isn't where it's at. Huh. Looks to me as though, like, <clears throat> somebody is making a wise decision to let a false foundation crash because it's time to be honest I feel like we have somebody that is shutting down emotionally to a very deceptive situation that was a complete lie and they're moving on. They're moving on. They are. I mean, the tower is like a, a, a moving on, okay? So I feel like somebody is just about to, you know, head in a new direction. I think they've been getting ready to. And it's like all of a sudden this bomb goes off. There's some sort of explosion and it's over. I'm taking my power back. I don't care how much it hurts. It's time for me to live again. It's time for me to live again. So I really feel as though somebody could be receiving a message or, okay, somebody could be receiving a message or a text or some sort of communication that brings about some conflict or makes them feel uncomfortable or hurts, you know, some hurtful communication that gives them them that little nudge that it's time to release it's time to live again so yeah i feel do i feel like new love is there's definitely an opportunity for new love here it's like we have a sudden situation i think something has happened happening suddenly somebody is all of a sudden forced no maybe it's not forced all of a sudden maybe they just wake up you know we definitely have an awakening here all of a sudden they wake up and it's like it's time to make a move it's time to let go so that I can live again whatever that means I don't know I think there's been fear. There's been fear of this, but oh God, yes. Here we go. It's time. Somebody is letting go, stepping over the finish line, finalizing that chapter. It's final. It's over. Somebody has learned a really big lesson through suffering and pain and making wrong decisions. And it's like it's over. It's, oh, this is it. This is the last card. It's over. It is literally judgment day. It is. It's judgment day. Oh, I put it like this because that's how it goes from this card to this card. 
This is absolution. Transcendent, transcendence. The transcending into a better life. Release. The worst is over. We have a major new beginning here. And the past is being released. I don't know if you caught that last part because the battery died. That's a sign. It's over. It's over. What I said. The past is being released. Somebody is about to start over in a new direction. New life. Something very prominent. I mean, that's what this is. Something very prominent is over. It's done. Life as you know it. It's over. It's time. I'm going for the beauty. I was going to get one of these cards, so we're gonna, it's going to be a long one, but whatever. We have a completion. We have a completion here of one cycle. Something is ending abruptly, just like the battery died. It's like the battery is dying. It's over. You can't. you got time to buy a new one. New life. New beginning. Where you've been, it's over. It's done. Completion. February 6th, what do we got for February 6th? Emotional shutdown. Somebody is shutting down their feelings for the past. Finally, it's over. It's over. Heading towards happiness. Thank you, Lord. I release, I accept, and I'm starting over. Somebody is starting over. Congratulations. Made that final decision. That's funny. Oh my God. Release the dark wound. Let love live. Release. This is what we're at. This is where we're at. I mean, that that is what we're doing here. <laughs> if we if we detach something from its source too soon trying to force it to become what it, what it is, not ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally, unintentionally sap its strength and kill it. What the hell? I said, knowing it's going to die. They do this for me all the time. We, be, we can unintentionally zap it of its strength and kill it. That's what's happening here. Something is dying. There is a dark wound in the consciousness of humanity which demands perfection and denies process. If you are thinking of publishers before you have even written the book, if you are comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you are not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've given it everything you've got and asked for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. You have to let go of the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. I kept saying to live again. It's so funny. Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring. It moves us so much joyously, so much more joyously and creatively than, than fear. You are being asked to honor the path of your own love. What inspires you? What feels exciting, joyful, and perhaps even rather different? Let that live. <laughs> Release the dark wounding of false belief. Remember, I, I said I was taking, somebody's taking their power back. Oh, my goodness gracious. And starting over in a new direction. And they are headed towards success. Trust me, you are. And a new partnership.
That's it. That's all I'm going to read. This is too long. It's time. Somebody is releasing that wound to live again, to love again. Congratulations. Because you're headed towards victory and success. Just say goodbye. And take baby steps in that new direction. Good luck.